Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sivashri Das, and today I am going to take a class on the topic cloud computing. And now I am going to show some PPTs made by me on this topic. So at first, I'll tell you about the cloud. The cloud refers to the internet or network and it provides services through internet or network. And the first thing is that I'm going to tell about the an architecture and the introduction to cloud computing. And the cloud computing is online service provider it gives the facility, including services, servers, storages, databases, networking, software, etc. over internet. The services are on demand. Usually user pays for their cloud services. So when we have to access the cloud services, we have to pay for it. And mainly the basic the basic purpose of cloud computing is to give access to the data centers to many users. Users can also access data from a server. Cloud computing actually uh, meaning, means that the manipulating, configuring, and accessing the applications online. And it offers online data storage, infrastructures, and applications. So after that, uh, we can take an example of cloud computing. Uh, whenever we travel through a bus or train, we take a ticket for our destination. And other passengers also take tickets and travel in the same bus. Whenever our stop comes, we get off that bus. Cloud computing is like that bus carrying all the data and information for different users and allows us to use its service with the minimal cost. And this is the examples of cloud computing. And after that, I'm going to say about the architecture of cloud computing. The architecture of cloud computing, architecture of cloud computing uh, describes in this diagram in the diagram we see that there is a cloud there is a cloud and this is the cloud actually this is the cloud there is a cloud and some internet connection and client infrastructure here the internet and the cloud with the help of internet we interact with the application here, there are different SIM systems like computers, it may be smartphones, tablets, and they are accessing the cloud. The cloud consisting of storages, infrastructure, services, applications, management, etc. And the client infrastructure means here, uh, the users, mobile phones, uh, desktop, laptops, tablets so the users accessing the informations and data from the cloud through internet actually they are accessing the data from internet sorry from cloud through internet connection the cloud consisting some features they are application, service, management, storages, infrastructure, security, etc. The cloud management includes monitoring, alerting, and configuration management. The cloud computing infrastructure is the collection of software and hardware elements needed to enable cloud computing. Services allows access to the data from any location. These are the features of clouds and the security also 
uh, creates snapshots of the data so that it may not get lost even if one of the servers get damaged. And mainly the applications. The applications means uh, who, when uh, clients want to access uh, some appli applications, some informations, uh, then they can access from the cloud the applications and uh, the services I told about it and the infrastructure I told about it and the security. Security means uh, the data, the data including in the cloud, they, how can they handle, how can they secure in the cloud? And the cloud computing has actually two parts two parts uh, we can say simply that the one part is front end and the uh, second part is back end uh, which uh, we can see uh, in the screen is the front end actually the front end is that when we actually we want to uh, search something in our mobile or our laptops uh, we want to go to the web browser mainly if at first we go to the web browser to search the thing so then we can say that the web browser is the front end application actually this is the front end application and uh, when we search uh, we, we open at first the web browser and then we type uh, which we want to access actually uh, then that actually when we search in the web server we sorry web browser the request goes to the actually cloud and from the cloud we get answers and replies and the things which we want actually which we searched in the web browser so in this architecture we can say that the client architecture the client architecture this is the front end front end and and the cloud the cloud this is the back end and we search here from here the user search from here and the uh, answers and the replies comes from the back end this is the back end means the cloud the cloud have all the informations and answers the data so uh, when users uh, search something so then uh, that I we will get answer immediately from the cloud. So we can say that the front end is client or infrastructure and the back end is the cloud. The whole cloud, we can say that the, this is the back end. <clears throat> the back end means cloud consists of data storage, security, and management. Now I, I already told about the storage, about the management, about the infrastructures. I already told about that. And this is the front end and this is the back end. And the front end and back end, uh, the, the front end and back end interacts through the internet. So we, when uh, we want to see our Gmail account, suppose we want to access our Gmail account, then we, we can at first we go to, to the web browser, then we search our Gmail and then when we Gmail, after opening the Gmail, we can see our messages, our mail, our mails in our inbox. So the, the so the front end is the the front end, which and where we can see the we can see which we want actually in the screen. This, these are front end and the back end in the back end the operations which we cannot see the operations inside but or behind the front end when we can when we search something then we get the answers immediately but we cannot see the operations behind the behind this actually behind this search and when we search, then the backend gets an information that we are accessing to the 
information and data from the cloud. Then we get can get answers from the backend. And this is the simple architecture of cloud computing. Thank you.